No. Okay, so this is Rosemary from Ninja Pizza. Uh, standing outside. There's a little sunlight in my face, but that's okay. Um, so I've been showing you guys these that I found recently in one of my many storage bins. And so the question is, what is inside? Um, yeah, so we're gonna find out in a second. I'm gonna give people a little bit of an opportunity to join, hopefully. Uh, we'll get some live viewers here. Um, while we wait to open these, um, I'm also going to reveal these. Um, these are not 25 years old. These are about two to three years old. Um, this box is actually still sealed. Um, so all the contents in it are still sealed. So I think we'll open up one of these as well. Um, in the meantime, uh, we'll give it maybe three to five more minutes before we'll give people a chance to join. Um, if you did just join, we are going to open these and see what's inside. It feels questionable, kind of like a mass of gummy, whatever, sugar. Yeah, so um, while we waste a little bit of time, I I'm going to do a little shameless self-promoting here. Uh, I want to give you guys a preview of some of the paintings that I'm going to have for sale at the Comic-Con Art Show this year. Um, this is a relatively new thing that I've been doing for just over a year, um, making little paintings and putting them in art shows and people buy them and it's kind of happy. Um, I have some TMNT themed ones that are ready to go and they're going to be in the Comic-Con Art Show this year. Uh, ooh, here's Ice Cream Pop Mikey. Uh, it's just a little 6x6 six six painting, and uh, hopefully you remember eating these. These were also yummy back in the day. Actually, you can still buy these. They're still yummy. Um, let's see, this one is our friend Fugitoid. Uh, this one's really cool because it's uh, shiny metallic paint, and I don't know. I like it when it's shiny. I like painting in shiny. And then... This one is based on the Funko Pop style. It's Leonardo. And I like how he turned out. He's cool. And then this one is my favorite one of, especially of the Team and T themed ones. Um, this is my Usagi painting. And he's, uh, he's a cute Usagi. And he's kind of uh, based on the plushy version of um, Usagi. And he will also be available in the uh, uh, Comic-Con Art Show, San Diego, July. Uh, Alright, so we've got a few people watching. Um, let's see. This is what we're waiting to open. And uh, hopefully you guys can hear me pretty well. There's a freeway behind me. so. Alright. So here we go. Um, it's a little icky on the back. Uh, I don't know if that's goo related to the contents or... I think there's some bleed through of the goo that's inside. And no, I, I will not be eating these ones. I'll, I am willing to eat these ones. I'm not willing to eat these ones. Okay, so... Um, we're going to be very careful about this because I kind of want as little contact with the contents as possible. So. Alright. So. Yeah. Alright. So, back in the day, I actually ate a whole ton of these. Um. They're from Farley's. I don't even know if that's still a company. Uh, but uh, actually back uh, in junior high, I think, I had a school project where I had to write to a food company or just any company maybe, um, and, like write a, like, a letter to them about their product. And so for some reason I chose these. And so I wrote a letter to Farley's telling them that I enjoyed their fruit snacks, but I also found the, there was like, three or four in each package and it was kind of disappointing so I complained about that 
And then they sent me a coupon for some free fruit snacks. Snacks. Um, I don't think this is a result of that, but. All right, so I've got it open and I can see the insides. They are mostly all the same color that I can see. Uh, that doesn't strike me as being a normal thing. All right. So I've got a toothpick, so I'm gonna kind of carefully uh, extract one. They are somewhat stuck together. Uh, and stuck to the plastic. Uh, all right, I got one. So it looks to be turtle shaped. All right. Whoa, it is actually maybe April O'Neil shaped. Uh, I think this is April. Uh, it looks kind of like April. Doesn't look like a turtle so much. So there's one of them. Woo! All right. Um, yeah. All right. Let's see what else we can find. I do. They are seriously stuck together in the bottom here. So. Oh, I see Shredder. Okay. I thought these just came in turtle shapes, but I am obviously remembering that wrong. This is not a good toothpick. Alright, so, no, I'm not going to eat it. Here, I will eat one of these in a little bit. Ah, they are really stuck together. Okay. Oh, actually, this is kind of cool. So I've got two here. They're stuck together, but I'm going to try to show you both of them. So, okay. So if they don't fall, this one is Shredder. It's kind of hard to make out his details, but that's what's there. Uh, after 25 years, they, I'm going to I'm gonna um, go on the safe side and say they're, that they've gone bad. Yeah. But what's cool is this one over here, that's the turtle van. And I don't think it's gonna focus that well. But it is the turtle van. All right, so there was Shredder. Ooh. And the turtle van, so that's cool. I was uh, mostly just expecting them to be turtles. Um, all right, so I do think I see a turtle here. Yeah, this one's a turtle. Let's see what this guy looks like. Uh, okay, so... He's coming out almost. His legs are stuck. All right, so this is a turtle. I don't know if it's so detailed that you can tell who it is. Maybe at one time it was. Um, he's a little crooked, but uh, that's definitely a turtle there. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh. Yeah, they do look a little bad. I, I agree. Alright, anything else? Oh, I see another turtle van. Alright, so there's another turtle van. And they are all looking like they're grape or purple. Well, oh, it's upside down. Turtle van. Which... I don't know, I remember them being multi-flavored in a pouch, so I don't know if that's just luck on this one or if that was by design. I, I don't have the box for this one, so it's just a single pack of gummies. 
Uh, looks like there's about three left in here. Uh, I may have to uh, open the package a little more to get it out. It's very stuck. Alright. So, I'm gonna do a second cut on this. Uh, oh, there goes the packaging. Oops, sorry. Alright, I see another turtle. It is not in good shape. It is still very stuck to this package. Uh, Alright, uh, I touched it. Nah. Alright. Another turtle. Looks like it's probably the same mold as the other turtle. Uh, da -da. All right. What else? This one. Oh, okay. Here's a new one. This one. Uh, it's gonna be very hard to tell, but it is Splinter. All right, there he goes. Splinter, yeah, I think you can tell that. Ah, Splinter. And then there's one left, and it is, I think it's another turtle van. One more turtle van. And they were all purple. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That ended up being eight in the package. That's pretty good from what I remember. Because I do remember there was at least a period of time where you got like three or four in a package. And as a 10 year old, that's like the worst snack ever. Um, all right. So now we have this. Uh, this is obviously the 2012 Turtles. Uh, so it's fairly recent. However, um, it does have a date on it that says May 2016. And actually what's cool about this, and I will probably end up cutting these down and keeping them, um, is that they have little, I think they're supposed to be game cards. I don't know what kind of game it is, but I do like trading card type things. So I'll probably cut these down and keep them. That's probably why I bought the box in the first place, honestly. And obviously I never ate them, so mm, wasn't a priority. All right, opening. Now these, you might still be able to buy these. I don't know, it's hard to tell right now what is going on with turtles. Um, so these have a much more modern package. Uh, we've got some 3D art there, or CGI art. Um, mm, we might have about the same number of gummies inside, maybe a few less, or one or two less, maybe. Alright, so we'll go into this package, see what's on the inside. Alright, so these are multicolored. Ah. Uh, so lots of uh, different flavors in this one. They are, uh, they look fairly edible. I don't know if you can tell what that is. It's just a turtle head. Uh, there it is kind of, it is a turtle head. It uh, does look a little aged. I will, okay, I, I will promise to eat one before the end of the video. Uh, what is this? Okay. This one will also probably be hard to tell, but uh, it is Splinter. Uh, just his head, not the full body. Like, down to the V and his gi. Splinter. Alright. So, 
orange flavor. We have red flavor. Now this is another red. This is another turtle. It might be that um, each color is a different mold. Let's find out. Oh, okay. Yes, so there's another yellowish one, and that is again Splinter. So there's him. And now there's a more orange colored one. Ah, and it totally just fell on the ground. Okay. So this is not going to be the one that I eat. But it is another turtle. And so it's probably color coded. So the red one is Raph. This one's supposed to be Mikey. Not that you can really tell. Um, and then there's a yellow, a different yellow one here, I think. Yeah, so this is a more yellow one. This one's Shredder. Woo, Shredder! And then this one is another Shredder, I think. Yeah, another Shredder. And then this is an exciting find for me because I haven't eaten fruit stacks in a while. So I forgot this color and flavor exists. But this crazy like opaque blue color which actually I recall being my favorite so this might be the one that I eat so that's it that's in here um, we ended up with one two three four five six seven eight pieces again so uh, it was the same number as the uh, old package Ooh, here's the old package. Here's the new package. And oh my goodness, the gummies are sticking to my table here. Okay. Here's an old turtle. And here's a new turtle. I'm not eating this one. Alright. So that's about all I got here. Um, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll try the live thing again. It was kind of cool. Um, I really haven't done that before, so yay. Um, so to wrap up what I uh, said at the beginning, I kind of just showed off some of the paintings I've been doing that are gonna be available at Comic-Con. Um, okay, so here is one of my paintings from, that'll be at Comic-Con. It's Team and Teapop. These are delicious. Go find one and eat one. You won't regret it. Ah, Usagi, he's so cute. Also cute, Leonardo in the Funko Pop style. And Fugitoid, he's very shiny. And that's kind of why I painted Fugitoid specifically, because it was an excuse to use this shiny paint. Um, show all what? All the candy? Uh, well, it's on, okay, so. It's kind of getting stuck, it is not it's not doing well. Okay, so all the candy. Watch the video from the beginning when I'm done. I show every single piece. Alright, so there's the old candy. Here's the new candy. Boom. Um, so my paintings are going to, the, the original paintings are going to be at Comic-Con. If you want prints, they'll also be here and that's backwards. Uh, ColorsByRosemary.com Woo, you can get prints right now. Woo. Okay, so before we go, I said I would eat one of the new ones. And so, it does honestly look a little questionable. There's like residual goo on the outside. But I, I will eat this. It's only like two-ish years past the expiration date. And, eh, that's kind of okay. Alright. So, I'm going to say goodbye. Mm. I don't even know what flavor this is, but I like it. Yep, that's okay. Um, Alright, now I have the stuff stuck in my teeth. But that's about all I got for you guys right now. Um, thanks for checking out the uh, Facebook um, postings when I put them up. Um, sorry I haven't been more consistent on the actual website. Um, it's just uh, that element of it takes up more time than I kind of have at the moment. So, um, 
hopefully I'll be able to maybe wiggle in some normal articles in with all the Facebook postings too at some point. Um, but thanks for sticking around and checking it out. Um, hopefully you were entertained with these 25 year old gummies. Um, what is the year on this? I don't even know if it says. Mm, it doesn't say what year this is. So mystery year. I would guess mid 90s, early 90s. Anyways, thanks you guys. And I'll check you guys up. Uh, check you guys. Uh, see you later. Ah, all right. Finish.